Okay, so there you are, working at a computer with no GUI interface, whether it's a server that you hooked up a monitor to, or you switch to one of your TTYs by pressing Control, Shift, F, Control, Alt, Alt, Shift, Two, F. This is one of those things I do without thinking, and as soon as I think of it, I can't remember what the keys are. Control Alt and F2, Control Alt F3, Control Alt F4, Control Alt F5, Control Alt F6. Okay, I'm sure most of you are aware of that. Control Alt and your F keys will allow you to switch between virtual consoles, exiting out of your GUI interface and into a pure console experience. To get back to your GUI desktop environment, usually it's F1 uh, or F7. Uh, but once you're in this, you're running, you know, again, without a GUI interface, for whatever reason you're doing this. Wouldn't it be nice to have a mouse cursor? Good news, you can, and it's not that hard to do. Before I go any further, I know a lot of you out there are going, but Chris, why? Well, I tell you, the main reason that I have this service installed is um, copying and pasting. Sometimes I am working at one of my uh, virtual consoles and uh, I output some information and instead of you know typing whether it's a URL or an IP address or something, it's just easier to highlight and paste it. And that's the main reason I have this installed, but there may be other reasons. The service that allows this is called GPM. And on a Debian-based system, it's super easy to install. Just sudo apt install GPM. Obviously, you type in your password. Once it's installed, it should automatically start that service up, and you now have a mouse cursor that can highlight. And with a center mouse click, it will paste whatever you highlighted. Now again, I showed how to do this on a Debian-based system using app, but you can use whatever package manager you normally use, and I'm sure it's just as simple on most other distributions, although I haven't tried. But again, Debian, Debian-based systems, so if you're on Debian, Ubuntu, Linux Mint, um, MX Linux, a lot of distros, uh, that would be how you do it. And once it's up and running, once it's installed, it should automatically start running. If not, just start the GPM service. And now you have yourself a mouse cursor. Again, uh, it's not something that is used all the time, but does come in handy when you need it. So short video, I hope you found it useful and I hope that you have a great day. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. Link in the description. Also, uh, not something I normally do, but I, I should start doing, is thanking my Patreon supporters. So go ahead and check them out, their names. I appreciate your support. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.